welcome to another Earth Engine tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Earth Engine with PyDeck for 3D visualization. So let's get started. In order to follow this tutorial, you need to download a notebook example from my uh, GitHub. And keep that in mind, this video is not about the GE map Python package. So uh, if you watch my previous tutorial, you will probably know that most of the time we're using IPy leaflet as the uh, the plotting backend to do visualization. So today we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to use uh, another one called PyTech as the plotting uh, backend to visualize Earth engine data in a 3D environment the ipi leave that only to uh, 2d visualization so um you need to go to my github repo and uh, find the examples folder and notebooks this is tutorial 29 so if you click this one <coughs> and then from here you can either uh, clone the entire github repo or you can click here the lower button and then all you need to do is just right click save as i'm going to save this one to my downloads folder under my home directory so i here just hit save then you can open here you see now this one is uh, under the download folder <clears throat> and i'm going to um, first uh, create the environment first um, before i open this jupyter notebook so if you follow the instruction in here, um, before you get into the detail how to do that, let me quickly show you what um, some of the required packages to run this tutorial. So you probably already know the Earth Engine API. Okay, so this is the one we use for the GE Map Python package. But we're going to introduce two new additional packages today. The first one is PyTech. So if you right click, if you open this one. You see here, uh, it's a high-scale spatial rendering in Python and powered by uh, DEC GL. You go to the website. Um, this is the, uh, basically open source uh, framework um, by Uber. It looks like my uh, website has some problem. Anyway, so if you see the gallery in here, right? So these are all kind of like 3D. And you can click anyone so for example i can right click open this one and you will see here it will render those like in 3d pretty nice and you will also see the um, attribute table for each one although right now earth engine does not support this kind of 3d but um but i'm going to show you some basic examples how we can use uh, earth engine together but using the same protein back end although it's not 3d but uh, it's still uh, a good start and similarly yeah you can do like 3d so if you click this one uh, the globe view this one is like uh, really 3d so hopefully in the future i will make another video how to render earth engine data in a 3d uh, globe uh, so please you can subscribe to my channel and, and um, when i post the video you will get a notification so this is the PyDeck, but um, so PyDeck support a lot of layers. If you see from here, different types of uh, layers, and there's no one called Earth Engine layer, and that's why we need another package called PyDeck Earth Engine um, layers. If you click, so this is another open source library developed by um, the Unfolded company, and um, it's pretty new. So just only. Uh, it was developed in the past few months uh, and is still very uh, active. So keep that in mind, um, not all the functionalities um, of the Earth engine are supported yet, but you 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 can get some basic um, uh, image, Earth engine uh, image and image collection to render on uh, Jupyter Notebook. And besides that, you might want to check out this website. So from the website, uh, you go there. Um, click the examples so you can basically render those examples directly within the browser and so for example if you click uh, you might need to sign in uh, with your Earth Engine account and then you will see here these are actually come from 
uh, Google's engine, so the data layers. But the back end is using a uh, PyTech, right? You can also do image uh, collection uh, to do animation. Depends on the internet speed, uh, so it might be a little bit slow. But um, this is what you get. In my, if you watch my previous tutorial, I actually have one of those uh, uh, how to uh, create those engine animations. Um, you can also do uh, terrain 3D. And um, this one, keep in mind, these examples are all the JavaScript uh, examples. Uh, but today we're going to introduce Python examples. So um, most of those are supported in Python, except this one, terrain. So um, um, I might make another video in the future to uh, show you um, how to create something like this in uh, Python. But we need to wait until um, the this package at the functionality to do uh, a train uh, visualization. Okay, so uh, and you can also get the Macbox uh, API key. If you uh, see from those examples in here, the, the uh, base map using the Macbox uh, base map. So you, you might need to um, get the Macbox API. Um, you can click the link. Uh, here you will see the instruction. So um, we don't have time to go through the detail, but um, those be pretty straightforward if you follow the examples. So those are the uh, two new uh, Python packages that we need. Okay, so we need the OS engine to uh, get the OS engine data layers. We need a PyTech um, the framework to for rendering um, data on the browser, and we need this specific OS engine data layer PyTech to. Uh, create customized tile layers to use together with PyTech and so let's get started to create the environment this one this tutorial does not use the GE map package so just uh, pay, uh, pay attention to this one so next I'm going to show you step by step how to create the environment so that we can run the examples um, uh, here so first of all, you need to create an environment. So I'm going to just use a name called Deck. All you need to do is just copy and paste. And depends on the internet speed, uh, sometimes it might take a few seconds. And then you just hit Y. Um, be pretty quick. And then the next one is to activate the environment that we just created. Once we get into the environment, uh, I'm going to install the uh, main bar package. This one's uh, much faster than Conda, so I highly recommend that you try this one out. I'm going to show you in here. Once you install this one, so anything that previously you used Conda install, then you can replace with a member. Okay, I'm going to install. And done. So next, then you can install these three packages together. So the Earth Engine API, PyTech, and the PyTech Earth Engine layers. These all uh, packages all come from the uh, Conda uh, first channel and you will see from here should be here very quickly okay and then you will see all the packages then you just hit Y it's going to download the packages from the, um, the, the internet and then install so the last two um, lines of uh, codes in here basically enable the no Jupyter Notebook extension. If you use um, Jupyter Lab, you might need to follow the instruction here how to enable those for uh, Jupyter Lab. So if you see here installing PyTech, if you scroll down, so here is for Jupyter Notebook because we're using Jupyter Notebook. But if you use Jupyter Lab, uh, you will need these three lines of code to execute on your computer. So next, uh, in this one, copy, paste, enter okay done and then this is the last line copy paste done and once we finish all the requirement then we can just type um jupyter notebook and then open so now uh, we have opened the browser a uh, jupyter notebook then all you need to do is click um, this notebook and then we can maximize 
So if you see from here, these are the example we're going to go through uh, here. And um, Earth Engine data comes with different types of um, a format. So you, we can have Earth Engine image. Uh, we can also have image collection. Um, but we can also have free collection, basically vector, points, lines, and, and polygons. So I'm going to quickly show you uh, those examples. All you need to do is just uh, hit one. Then it should show you the result uh, shortly. We will see from here. Okay. And now we look at this one. Right. So this is the, the Earth engine data there that we are familiar. And the back uh, base map is the map box base map. Right. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. Zoom out. If you hit control on your keyboard and then the mouse left click, we see here you can uh, drag and, and, and rotate uh, the map, right? And then also like horizontal or vertical, uh, looking at vertical. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. So these are some of the basics. And next, let's go through the source code quickly to see what's the differences between this one and the previous Earth Engine and, and GE Map Python package. And so these two lines are the new ones, right? You import the PyTech. And also import this customized uh, PyTech Earth Engine layer. This one is the most important because this is the customized uh, Earth Engine layer that we need in order to make the connection between Earth Engine and uh, PyTech. And this one initialized uh, Earth Engine uh, section. Then this is we we define the, the variable. So this is the image, right? So this is still. Earth engine uh, source code. Similarly, this is how to visualize how how we uh, want to visualize the uh, DM, right? So you set the minimum, maximum, and also the uh, palette. And this one is new. So Earth engine um, layer. All we, we need to do is pass in the Earth engine or object, and then how we want to visualize. That's it. Uh, if you want to see more information, you can uh, hit uh, Shift tab. On your keyboard and then to bring up the two tips so the first one is earth engine object and also the visualize uh, visualization parameters and so you don't need to pass in these two because we already initialize and then once we have the layer we can create so-called the v state uh, is how we want to visualize when the map is loaded uh, on the browser in here so we want to put it the latitude and longitude, right? So this is location, the center location when the map is loaded and also the zoom level. Uh, the bearing is basically the true north, right? So right now, most likely this is true north, but if you rotate, right? So this is a uh, different angle. So this is so-called the bearing. Uh, the pitch 45 degree is like looking like, like this. So this is more like more likely 45 degree. If you're looking right like zero degree, you'll be like this, uh, looking from overhead, right? So these two parameters control how the map is uh, going to look like. And then we can create a so-called uh, PyTech. So this is the tech instance. We pass in the data layers. So in here, we only have one Earth Engine layer. And the initial view state, right? So this is how we define when the map is loaded. What we going we we what we want it to uh, look like, and then it is called the show function to show the map. So this is like very very basic. Like we can change the bearing if you like. So forty five degree relative to the true north. So forty five degree will be uh, uh, counterclockwise, and the pitch you can change pitch to for example zero. If you want again, now you see, right. So this is more like 45 degree uh, relative to the uh, two nodes and then the pitch uh, it's zero so if you use this right, you can rotate so this is the first example how to use uh, image you can certainly combine multiple data layers so and let me show you the second example uh, because this is a dm and uh, if you want to create a hue shade and then also uh, combined with the um, EEM layers, right, to create some kind of 3D effects. You see from this one here, and we can zoom in. 
now you see that this is not just the DM. Yeah, it's DM overlaid on top of the hue set. So you can see the effects in here. Combine these two together. Uh, pretty nice. And similarly, you can zoom in. You can rotate. You can uh, change the uh, the pitch. So let's take a look at this one quickly, right? The image, and then create the hue suite. Then we visualize. So you can use the image to visualize function. This one comes from the Earth engine, right? So basically change the original Earth engine object to um, just an RGB image. Um, so this is just like raw Earth engine data, remote sensing data. And this is like visualized, basically RGB. Uh, think about the JPEG, but it's just the, uh, on the browser and uh, change the palette so this is important here you need to change the opacity if you want to merge those two layers together and once you have the dm and then you visualize you can create the hue shade and the hue shade is uh, um, also using the visualize function uh, to create the hue shade and then you use the blend function to uh, blend these two images together. So basically combine those two layers as one single layer. And then we use the Earth Engine layer to create the layer because uh, this is still Earth Engine layer. It's not, you cannot directly use this one with Pytex. So you may need this one basically to establish the connection. So once you have this one, then you can pass this one into here, the layer. These are still the same, uh, the one we uh, used earlier. Okay, so this is the second example how to use um, multiple images and combine them as a single layer to visualize on uh, with PyTech. Next one, how do we visualize uh, Earth Engine image collection with PyTech? Um, let me do one example, example first. And um, this one is doing image collection, so the uh, 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 need more data set. It might be a bit slow. Uh, if you, I'm at home, so my internet is a bit slow. But you can see um, this is how you can visualize quickly on image collection. So this is uh, temperature, right? And if you see from the source code in here, um, load the image collection. And then, so this basically filter the data, and then at the end, we get the final image collection. And this is how you visualize the data. And most importantly, this is what is new. We use the Earth Engine layer and pass in the image collection. And also how we want to visualize. Different from the previous example uh, image. So this is image collection. So it has a parameter called animate. If you set the animate to true, then you can uh, automatically render the image as an animation. And still, this is an, a layer, and then you pass in the layer in here within the PyTech uh, function. And this is how you want to initialize um, uh, longitude latitude, right? And this is what it looks like. Sometimes, if you see from here, um, this animation broke out the base map if you want to overlay um, the base map that you can change the parameter so for example here you can change the opacity so if i change the opacity to 0.2 basically means um uh, it will be some kind of a transparent overlay on top of the, the base map so let's see what it looks like right now might take a few seconds okay so now it comes out you see from here Let's take a look at this one in the US, right? So you see the base map, you see all the labels, but you can also see the animation, uh, pretty nice. This is not something you can do with um, the GE map Python package. So the GE map Python package, basically, you need to export the data, download the data, uh, but this one is directly um, rendering the uh, image without having to download the animation. So you can deal with very large area without having to download anything so pretty nice next let's take a look at how to render points uh, so this is basically vector we don't have time to go into the details but i'm just going to show you uh, what it looks like the logic 
it's very similar to the previous example so basically you how you create um the, the data and then you just customize the um how what it going to look like and then all we need to do is just pass in um create a layer and then you can create multiple data layers and then just append each layer so in here basically it's a point uh power plants in the in the united states so different um uh, categories and each one is showing one um, different color and you each color is basically one layer so here we have multiple layers and then you pass in the data layer so this is what uh, it looks like next one is about uh, line so uh, still visual collection but this one shows you for example uh, hurricanes uh, tracks uh, in 2017 in the Gulf of Mexico so if you see from here like really nice so you can customize all the color and the size of uh, those you can check the source code and you can combine those two layers right so the line and also the point layer and then you pass in the variable in here so very similar so just pay attention to the uh, workflow you deal with the earth engine data and you customize how uh, uh, visualization how you, you want the data to display and then you create the layers using the earth engine layer um, uh, function and then you pass in the layers into the PyTech uh, function lastly they show how to deal with uh, polygon okay, so this is like international uh, boundaries you have the data set then you visualize um, what style you want to use then from here you just create the layer passing the layer in here okay so this uh, pretty much for this tutorial if you enjoy this tutorial please um, consider hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel hope to see you in my next video take care 拜拜